Protein analysis comes with many challenges. Labor-intensive protocols increase time to result, and multiple hands-on steps increase user error and data variability. Meet Jess, your protein analysis problem solver. Jess automates the protein separation and immunodetection of traditional Western blotting, eliminating many of the tedious, error-prone steps. Just load your samples and reagents into the microplate, insert the plate and capillary cartridge, and Jess does the rest. She separates your protein by size and precisely manages antibody additions, incubations, washes, and even the detection steps. Come back to fully analyzed and quantitated results in three hours. Jess, she's like Western blot meets Eliza in one. Jess gives you four ways to analyze proteins. Her fluorescent detection enables multiplexing, letting you maximize your time and sample. With Jess's chemiluminescent detection, you'll get picogram level sensitivity, letting you maximize the data you get from your sample. Her N-capillary protein normalization reagent is an easy way to see if your samples contain a consistent protein load and investigate experimental setup and user errors. You'll be able to publish your results with confidence with effective normalization of your target protein expression. And if you're still doing traditional Westerns, snap! Get the picture with Jess's inbuilt blot imaging system. Simple Western immunoassays take place in a capillary. Your sample, separation matrix, stacking matrix, antibodies and reagents are loaded automatically from a specially designed plate. Jess begins by aspirating the separation matrix and then the stacking matrix into each capillary. Next, your protein lysate is loaded and capillaries are lowered to make contact with running buffer. Voltage is applied to enable separation by molecular weight. Once the separation is complete, UV light immobilizes the proteins to the capillary wall. With proteins now immobilized and the matrix cleared of the capillary, Jess starts the immunoprobing process. For chemiluminescent detection, samples are first incubated with the primary antibody, followed by a secondary HRP conjugate, and finally, chemiluminescent substrate. The chemiluminescent reaction is recorded by a CCD camera in a series of images over time. For fluorescent detection, samples are incubated with the primary antibody, followed by infrared or near-infrared fluorescent secondary tagged antibodies. Excitation of the fluorophores releases photons and the emission spectra is detected and recorded by a CCD camera in a series of images over time. Protein normalization has never been easier with Jess. Just load her protein normalization reagent into a row of wells on the plate and she'll take care of the rest. The fluorescent labeled reagent reacts with amines on proteins, enabling a between capillary comparison of protein load. Best of all, Jess's fluorescent detection capabilities enable two color protein detection for multiplexing on top of protein normalization. Analysis is a breeze. Want to identify whether a protein is present or absent? Jess gives you the qualitative Western blot data you are used to seeing. Even better, she'll quantitate the data for you too. With a few clicks, you'll be analyzing immunoassay-like standard curves and precisely quantifying your protein. With protein normalization, you can take your protein load comparison and transform your data to effectively normalize your samples, increasing your confidence in your data interpretation. Jess, she's like Western blot meets Eliza in one.